I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to trade the altcoin markets with hands of steel. Hi everybody, my name is Karush AK. I've been trading altcoins for four years and in this video I'm going to teach you how to do the same. Now before you get any further into this video, you need to remember a few things. Nothing I say is financial advice and you should never copy online resources blindly. Take all the information I give you, test it, and then apply it. So you guys want my super secret strategy? Well, it doesn't exist. I'm just kidding. There is no secret strategy I can give you to help you succeed. What I can do though, is give you guidelines and point you in the right direction so you can make your own strategies. If you're not willing to put in the work and test these yourselves, you shouldn't watch this video and go buy a thousand dollar paid course or something. Okay, so premise to trading alts. Generally, my philosophy is that the best thing about the altcoin market is that these coins trend, and when they trend, the trends overextend. This means that when they go up, they keep going up for a very long time. So the strategies I'm gonna share are going to revolve around this theory, which if you go look at the data, it supports it. Strategy one will help you catch these trends early. And strategy two will teach you how to play these trends if you miss the early part, but you still want to hop on and make as much money as you can. To catch early trends, you really need to know which levels invalidate market structure. You find these key levels and then wait for them to break, set your conditions for them breaking, and try and enter right as these levels break and you predict the market structure is about to change. It's quite difficult to do and requires a lot of experience, but maybe if I show you an example, it'll help you make your own system for this. Right now I'm going to use Link as an example. It's a coin that I've actually traded myself and if you want to see my history with this, go look on Twitter. I pretty much shared this entire move, so it's not just theory, this is something I applied myself in practice and uh, fortunately made a lot of money with. So it's going to serve as a great example for both the strategies I'm sharing in this video. The first one being catching those early trends. The most important thing to catch an early trend is to identify key levels. If you don't yet know how to identify key support and resistance levels, this is covered in my free course. This will be specifically the support and resistance module. Now let's take a look at the key levels here. Uh, immediately, I look at this top area over here when we had our first initial pump. Price went up, up, up hugely and then closed around here. We had a couple tests and that sets our initial level which we're looking at then we follow along with the price data here and we see data points supporting this argument and telling us that this is in fact a key level set that point we have our data points it's supported and now we're looking for a break of this key level uh, now what conditions you determine to be a break it's up to you to figure out you can use uh, certain closes on certain time frames you can use a combination of moving averages to test the strength of the trend uh, you can even throw in some fibonacci as well that part that's where the hard work comes in and you figure out your specific rules. So in this example, I'm going to use a very basic example of a candle close. And we're also going to make sure we respect this 4.56 level up there as a potential resistance, because even though we had this deviation over here, this level is still significant. Now, as we approach it, we need to be watching that. Now, attempt one has happened over here to get above this level. It has failed and we've rejected back down. But what I can see, is now you're going to see an example of the Fibonacci's being used here. What I can see is that from this bottom point over here all the way to this top point over there, the price has still stayed above the 382. And as long as it stays above the 382, it means that the demand is far higher than the supply. People are not letting the price come back down and just keep buying and buying. Uh, now let's continue to watch what happens. So we're making another attempt to get above this key level and we're getting rejected back down again price drops and it has exceeded and made a new high and now look it's testing our new level so at this point what we can do is look for an early entry in this area here so this is now our early entry area with invalidation potentially you can take this 382 level or whatever you personally want to use as invalidation and obviously once you come up with this you test it and make sure it works in the market so the price comes back down and all throughout this area we could have been buying and accumulating and 
If you've been following my Twitter, you probably did. Now we've got a close. The price has gone above this key level. And if you take a look over here, we can see the price is going up and it's found a final resistance area over here. This is the last point that we have to contest before the trend really kicks off. We've accumulated in this zone here. We've waited for the final resistance now. We've developed, built our position and we know our invalidation. Again, let's throw in some moving averages to look at the trend. All of this Fibonacci moving averages that covered in my course. If any of this is complex, study the course and it'll be very easy to understand after. Moving averages are fanning out, moving in the upwards direction right into this resistance. We're staying above the 382 level and we're just waiting for the break, which is right over here. This is our big break. Now, if you didn't catch the early trend here in this accumulation zone, your last opportunity is in this first giant candle smashing through a resistance. It's a bit scary to buy because you think it's going to come crashing back down. But what you do is you buy at this level. And when you do buy at that level, what happens is there are two possibilities. Possibility one is that the price just continues to go up and then... Possibility two is it comes back down, retests this level, and then flies up. Either way, what I did is I bought at this level right as it broke up because I didn't care if the asset came back down. I knew that this asset historically trends really, really well. So even if it came back down and my entry's off by a few percent, it doesn't matter because I expect this to go a lot of percent and I don't want to be greedy and miss out on an opportunity to get in on the trend early and this stage is still early the earliest was this zone over here that was the best time you could have got into this link uh, the probability was extremely high of it succeeding all the eight data was on your side the next best opportunity was right over here and if we follow along we can see that the asset just flew up after this and we just go to automatic this has pretty much been a, if we take it from the bottom here, 275% move, which I've shown you exactly how you could have caught. And this is not hindsight. You can go look on my Twitter and see me sharing this live as it was happening. Now that you know how to enter here, there are a few more things you need to consider to make a complete system. And I will do a course on this, but it'll be a bit too much for the scope of this video. You need to know where your idea is invalidated. You are not always going to be right. And if you lose, you need to make sure your losses are controlled. After that, you also need to know when and how you take profit. My favorite way of taking profit is with a trailing stop loss. Most exchanges do not provide this. That's why I like to use Femex because they give me this easy tool, which I can always use. If you want to try them out, link in the description below. The other strategy, which can be really useful, are Fibonacci extensions. They give you a consistent means of targeting uh, continuations of the trend. Uh, you can find out a lot more about these in my course. I hope you enjoyed example one. Now let's take a look at example two, which applies similar concepts in a different way. This time we're not trying to catch the start of the trend and the big breakout. Instead, we're trying to ride the breakout. This can be a lot less stressful and really easy to do because you can sit back, wait for the coin to break out. And as soon as it has sufficient volume and volatility, you jump in and try to trade this coin. In this example, I'm going to use link again. Assume you've missed this start of the trend. You, you didn't accumulate over here. You didn't catch the big break. And now you want to get into this asset. Well, let's give it another two candles. So price goes up and it goes up. The big break is around there. What you want to do in this scenario is try and catch the first pullback. And the easiest way to catch pullbacks like this are using the Fibonacci retracement tool. I've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. My course covers this in great detail. And let's also throw in the 236. And your system needs to incorporate different levels at which you catch these sorts of pullbacks. 236 and 382 are great for really strong trends and ideal for something like Link. And you can also use moving averages to help you catch those sorts of reversions to the mean. Now, if we continue, 
With this, we can see that we've now been given two entry opportunities at the 236 and the 382. So you enter at one of these levels, you set a target based on a trailing stop loss or a Fibonacci extension, just like I said in the previous video, um, assuming you're using an exchange which provides you with trailing stop losses like Femex. And we can see again, if we put on this tool, the price is going up and we can follow it with our Fibonacci tool and try and wait for that entry. Already you can see the 236 has provided us with an entry opportunity as we're riding this trend. It's come down to the 382 so we've got two great entries on this coin and we've even got it all the way down to the 0 0.5 and 618 right now. So we've really managed to get a big entry onto this coin and as we fill up on this zone, let's get another rectangle to show this. You can see this is now our accumulation zone between the 236 and the 618 where we still know the trend is intact, we still know there's demand, we accumulate here and look we can ride up the trend again. And that is basically the core of this other strategy. Um, I'm not giving you any exact rules, just general guidelines. Pick and choose the tools you like the best, isolate them and create your system. Don't try and use absolutely every oscillator, indicator, technical analysis strategy there is. Understand these fundamental concepts, catching the early trend, riding the continuing trend, and create your system around them. Now, these two strategies should give you plenty to work with, test, and study. Put in the work if you want to see results from this. I'm going to give you a few extra tips which will also help you when trading altcoins. First and foremost, make sure you put in a lot of time into mastering the psychological aspect of trading. What I've given you are potential trading systems. No matter how good the trading system is, if you don't have the mindset and the mentality to apply it, it's useless. You're not going to be able to make money in the market. You'll never stick to your system, which should in theory work. Next is leverage. Now, a lot of newer traders avoid leverage and think it's really bad, but if you have the fundamental risk management knowledge to be trading in the first place, there's no reason that doesn't transfer directly to leverage. So leverage can be your friend if used correctly and adhering to your risk management rules. I have a whole course on this, which I'll also link in the description down below. Check it out if you want to help find more opportunities when trading, and you're also interested in reducing your counterparty risk when trading on exchanges. Free immerse yourself in the market. This year in particular, I've learned the importance of moving a little bit away from the numbers and applying some discretion to your trading, really getting a feel for the ebbs and flows of the market. One of my favorite places to stay in tune and in touch with the market is Twitter. If you're not already following me there, make sure you are. So that last bit should point you in the right direction for further study. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'm going to continue providing you with the best content I can and molding you into amazing traders and helping you build richer lives. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for giving me your time.